Today we're looking at physical properties of alcohols, starting with melting and boiling points of alcohols. Now remember, melting point is the temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid, and boiling point is the temperature at which that same substance changes from a liquid to a solid. So we look at alcohols and we see the melting and boiling points in alcohols are higher than those of similar sized alkanes. Why do we think that's the case? This graph is giving us an indication of boiling points and um, of alkanes and similar sized alcohols. And this, you see there's quite a big difference. So to answer this question, you need to think about the polarity of the molecules. Alkanes, we know, are nonpolar. And if we look at alcohols, see they've got that OH group. Now the OH bond is quite a polar covalent bond. So that creates a dipole within the alcohol and that causes the alcohols to have stronger intermolecular forces than alkanes do. Therefore it takes more energy to separate the alcohol molecules than it does of similar sized alkanes. So when you're explaining a question like this, you need to be talking about the polarity of the molecules. Alkanes are nonpolar, alcohols are polar. What about solubility? Small alcohols are highly soluble in water. Can we say why? Well, a bit like the question before, alcohols have that OH group. It's a covalent bond and it's attached to a hydrocarbon. The bond between the O and the H is polar covalent because the electronegativity of oxygen is that much higher than hydrogen. It's quite a large difference, so it's a very polar bond. That means that like water, which also has OH bonds in it, they form similar types of intermolecular forces. That means that alcohol can form intermolecular forces with the water, so it dissolves. And we see this in everyday life because if you see mum or dad having a whiskey at night, maybe they add a bit of water to it. And if they do, have a look. Did layers form? No, they don't. It's just a homogeneous mixture. So we see just the whiskey and water all in one. What if the alcohols are a bit bigger though? If we have larger alcohols with four carbons or five carbons, or six carbons as shown in this graph here, we can see that the solubility is decreasing. Now why would that happen? Why would large alcohol molecules be insoluble in water? Once again, we need to think about polarity. This time, despite the fact that the OH group is polar, due to those differences in electronegativity again, the hydrocarbon group now is bigger. Okay, so we've got a non-polar group, which is large, a larger percentage of the alcohol molecule. Now that part of the molecule is insoluble in water. If you think of alkanes and alkenes, they're insoluble in water and they float on top. Remember, they're less dense than water. The alcohol molecules that are larger have a large proportion of that hydrocarbon part, which is also non-polar. So that makes that part is insoluble in water, and that means that the non-polar part as it gets bigger, has a greater effect on the solubility of the alcohol and water. The larger it is, the less soluble it is.